so this was not the plan to, <laughs> you know, the whole evening had progressed to put me on the real edge of my emotional equilibrium. And so, <laughs> and this is not a fake, this is real. Thank you very much, Leslie and Gianna. Thank you, Maya. Thank you, girls, right now. Thank you, Lane, for nominating me. I am feeling empowered and honored to be part of this, and I think that this, I will be part of this for many years to come. You know, when I came to this country, I um, didn't really speak English very well. I mean, I knew how to read and write, but I was really embarrassed because of my accent to really speak up. I didn't want to reveal my background right away because when people would hear me, their first question would be, you know, where are you from? So I was very quiet. But at home, you know, doing homework, this is where I could write. This is where I could take the time and start telling my story. You know, at Fresh, we call our copywriters storytellers because since the beginning of time, people have been telling stories, stories to connect to each other. You know, folk tales tell us everything about our history. And I think that in the way Storytelling is the way that we connect to other people, and whether it's in writing or whether it's by the spoken word, this is a privilege that we all have. I mean, this is the part where you get to express your own voice, even in writing. It's more important than anything, I think, to be able to take that charge, to be able to face this page, not as something that's an assignment, but to face it as your opportunity to connect to other people, because that's the way we do. I used to be an audiobook snob, you know, and <laughs> because I believe in reading books and, you know, not listening to books. But last year I had to drive a lot and I had to commit, so I broke down and I started listening to one and another and another. And this even became the most incredible highlight because I could feel that I could see the words. You know, my daughter recommended me a book, uh, Cersei, but Madeline Miller, and listening to it in the car it was like watching a painting. This writer was painting with words. I mean, it truly gave me another opportunity to feel how powerful writing can be. And even though it was fiction, I think the same could be said about words that can rise people, you know, rise people to believe, to speak about something that they care about, particularly to unite people, and especially to unite women, because we have to be able to speak our voices, to tell our stories, to clear away the voices that are in a way to really understand what the message of our lives is. And that's really to tell our story, not somebody else's story, but our story. And I think in that it's our privilege, and I think in that is your privilege, because this is the way you can connect to other women, and this is the way you can connect to your generation. And I believe in that. Thank you.